people are really starting to realise that abortion isn't healthcare for women and I think the pandemic really showed that, the fact that women were able to have like abortions from home without medical professionals there um, and that was obviously the premise of why abortion was introduced that there would be doctors um, available on demand throughout the process and obviously women were left to their own devices at home and that's not caring about women it's not protecting them it's not caring about their life um, and yeah that's left a lot of women with trauma which we're seeing through things like arch um, and just people coming out uh, saying that that was really traumatic for them and that they weren't supported so yeah I think like as the issue progresses and things like Roe v Wade being overturned like people are realizing this is an issue that you have to take a stance on and you have to stand up and be on the right side of history. Well since the abortion act was passed in 1967 you know 10 million innocent unborn children have died as a result of our abortion law so I think it's really important now more than ever that we push for pro-life laws where each human life is protected. Tonight is, it marks 55 years since the Abortion Act was passed and in that time we've seen 10 million uh, babies die because of the Abortion Act and untold suffering that has emanated from that. So tonight is a sign of witness, it's a, a, a call for prayer and uh, unity in defence of life. So we're, we're all witnesses working for a, a culture of life and uh, we're trying to be witnesses to the, the people here in Glasgow this evening, but uh, obviously that will go out and wider and we're, we're trying to have a, a ripple effect that we can encourage people that uh, the abortion battle is not lost. We are still here and we're still fighting against it and hoping one day to attain justice. Women deserve better than abortion, they deserve better health care and better treatment than abortion gives them. Well, it just seems to be a very passionate group of people who you know just have this very strong belief that you know life begins at conception and we have to protect life um, you know in a world that we're living in where things are quite miserable and the world isn't a very happy place it's good to see this and it does certainly warms your heart and it makes me feel confident for the future particularly when you see young people as well you know that there is actually a future in this movement people who just accept this fact that of what life is and how life as a process works so um, it it's making me feel very good to see these people. I think it's really important to support the cause and just gather together as a group and to, to stand, demonstrate what we believe in. This is also my first time here and you know there's a lot, lot more women than men here actually. I think it probably means more than anything to be here because as you say so many of our, our liberties, our freedom of expression, our freedom of speech, our freedom of association around uh, issues to do with life are being eroded more and more and therefore I think that means it's really important for us more than ever for everyone who's pro-life but also those who are pro-life and believe in um, democratic processes and, and our right to assemble and to have our, our, our voices heard um, it should be here but also the cause is the number one human rights issue of our time the right to life is the right upon which everything else is based. If you don't have a right to life, how can you have a right to anything else? And uh, every single scientific discovery of the last 50 years and technological one has affirmed that in the womb there is an integral living human being. And um, we are here to say that wherever there's a, an integral living human being, um, society has to call it a person and give it all of those rights. We've seen uh, throughout history when living human beings like the slaves in, in the Americas weren't given uh, the, the attribute of person, um, the terrible inhumanity that was done. And well, so that's why uh, we're here. Is there, there hope? Absolutely, there's hope. If you're standing here this time last year, if you'd have said to me that Roe versus Wade is going to be overturned, how could I have believed you? And yet it has been so. And so sometimes when things appear to be the most dark, that's when it's just before the dawn.